What's up everyone, this is Black Musa aka The Black Moose and here we are with another DJ Tech Tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to import your tracks into Rekordbox. Here I have some folders with some tracks in them. So let's check out the various ways on how to import them and all of the methods are a basic drag and drop. Here in the first one you can select an X amount of tracks, click and drag them into your collection bay. The second method, you can also drag and drop the actual folder itself. Or you can create a playlist and drag drop them into there. So let's do that. So once I've created that playlist, I can now drag drop the tracks into there. Now an even quicker way to do this, drag the whole folder into your playlists and that will create a playlist with the tracks in it. And what you'll see here is Rekordbox automatically analyzing the tracks, putting in the beat grid information, the tempo, and also the key for the tracks. Now let's check out the analysis settings. Head over to preferences, then analysis. Here you can change the way Rekordbox analyzes the tracks. There's two modes in track analysis. Normal mode is suitable for analyzing tracks which have a consistent tempo, and dynamic mode is suitable for analyzing tracks which contain significant tempo changes. And you can set the BPM range you want Rekordbox to analyze in. In track analysis setting, you can check or uncheck what you want analyzed. May also be useful if you want to reanalyze tracks. When I initially drag the tracks into Rekordbox, it automatically analyzed the tracks. You can disable this under auto analysis. You can also set the memory queue at the first beat of track when analyzing. Some people may not want this, which is why it's unchecked. Under key analysis, you can write the value to the ID3 tag of your track. And finally, under analysis process, you can determine how much CPU will be chewed up when you're analyzing. So with that out of the way, let me drag a track into the player and the beat grid is pretty spot on, along with the BPM and also the key. Here's another useful tip when importing tracks into Rekordbox. Let's say you've got a folder and in that is subfolders with some other tracks. You'd expect to uh, drag that one folder and it would automatically create playlists. It, that's not the case. What you'll need to do is to create a folder within the playlists. When you right click playlists, you'll see create new folder. And from that, you can drag your subfolders into the new folder that you've created in Rekordbox. And once that's done, you can start entering in your hot cues and your memory cues. If you're not happy with the big grid, or the downbeat is at a different position, you can always click grid and edit your beat grid from there. And that's it guys. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.